NBC 10 News Today continues. Reverend Ambrose Duzar joins us this morning, from president of the Washita chapter of the NAACP. How are you doing today? I'm great today. How are you? I'm doing terrific. Pleasure to have you join us talking about okay. the annual Freedom Fund Banquet. What's going to be going on there? Well, we have a lot of things going on. We have a guest speaker coming in town from one of our great chapters, Jefferson Parish. And we're going to have a good meal to enlighten the uh, community, what we're about, and to reorganize uh, them and to get them more uh, motivized, uh, motivated rather, to doing great things with us to keep the city on the road. Looking forward to it. I hear uh, the guest speaker, Miss Spiller, correct? That's correct. What's she going to be speaking about? She's going to speak on many areas, and knowing her as I know her, she's such a dynamic speaker. She's going to cover education. She's going to cover employ unemployment. She's going to maybe cover voter registration. She's very phenomenal in her own way. She's just well-versed. And we're greatly excited to have her in our city for this occasion. Well, the uh, event will be happening this weekend. There's still availability for some folks to grab a seat. When is it and how much is it for it? It's going to be August 3rd at the Mount Zion Baptist Church Life Center. Tickets are $25, table $250 for a reserve. So that's for a full eight uh, seats. A full eight seats, that's correct. You know what we'll be serving? Well, <laughs> I'm... Give a little sneak peek. I'm kind of waiting because I'm hungry right now. For <laughs> <laughs> Definitely good to know. Anything else you'd like to add before we wrap up? We, we want to invite the public to come in and to uh, uh, be a part of us. We take memberships as well. We're telling the people that it ain't over till it's over with. So we want to invite the whole parish, the whole city, everybody, to come out and unite with the NAACP because, you know, we've been around since 1909. That's right. And regardless of what people think about, we're the oldest, the boldest, the best civil rights organization ever lived. Thank you so much, Reverend Duzar, for joining us this morning. We'll have all these details posted for you folks on myarchimus.com.